everyone, my name is Jessica Whitaker. I'm a photographer from New York City and I'm also the founder and CEO of Build and Bloom, which is a nonprofit for young photographers. We started out as an online Facebook group and we now actually have over 50,000 members and we just wrapped five free photography workshops all around the United States. So we hit up Seattle, Washington, Los Angeles, California, New York City, and Houston and Dallas, Texas for free photography workshops. I just got back to New York City and I am so excited to sit down and share with you guys the process of planning a photo shoot and how easy it can be. I really want to drive home the point that you don't have to have access to a private studio, space to be able to create gorgeous images. I'm going to walk you guys through how I planned the photo shoot that I'm about to share with you guys. I'm so blessed and excited to announce that this video is being sponsored by Savage Universal. If you've been in the photography game for even 60 seconds, chances are you have heard of Savage Universal. They are one of the most trusted and leading providers of seamless paper in the world. They're sold at like a B&H, they're sold at Photo Care, which is my favorite place to shop for camera equipment and gear and film in New York City. And they also are online, like on Amazon. I've done a video with Savage Universal in the past, the yellow studio shoot. That was so much fun. I'll have that link down below. And I'm excited to bring you guys another video with them. The seamless paper that Savage provides is very, very affordable and cost effective. They have over 65 vibrant, beautiful colors to choose from, and it's awesome because they have a variety of different sizes. The paper I ended up choosing for this shoot was the 53-inch option in the coral color, which is a really pretty baby pink, super popular. You guys have probably seen it all over Instagram. And then evergreen, which is a beautiful and rich evergreen color. I've used Savage Paper for a while now. I think I mentioned in my yellow studio shoot, my first ever studio shoot, that my friends have had Savage Universal before and I've worked with the product. I've just never owned it myself. Now I have three beautiful backdrops and I'm really, really, really happy with both the quality, the amount of paper that comes in it, and how easy it is to set up. It's been really fun to work with them and I hope that you guys go and check their stuff out. Easy. And then you can just <clears throat> roll this out. Ready to go. And it's a huge blessing to be able to be partnered with them to bring you guys even more free content. This is how I set up 99% of my trade for print collaboration shoots. Not necessarily my client stuff, a lot more goes into that, but it doesn't have to take you five weeks to plan out something simple. All you need is a location, inspiration, a model, and then if you want to go a step further, you can collaborate with a hair stylist, makeup artist, wardrobe stylist, florist. I'm going to walk you through the entire process and how you can plan everything. First off, you need an inspiration, so I typically just go to Pinterest and I find one image that really brings me a lot of inspo and then I build off a mood board from there. On the mood board, I have everything from the overall vibe and the feel of the images to the makeup that I'm looking for. Let's talk about how to find a model. I do this through Instagram DM 80% of the time. The other 10% is going to either be with a friend or a model I've already worked with. And then the other 10% is usually I will post on my Instagram story or on my Instagram feed with a call to action saying I'm looking for a model. I recommend reaching out to at least 10 models or so, and you'll usually have one or two who will get back to you with a yes. The DM goes a little bit something like, hey Victoria, I absolutely love your look. Would you be interested in collaborating with me on a trade for print shoot on August 31st or leave the date, whatever it might be. Here's a link to the mood board or concept that I am looking for. Let me know if you're interested. Send that off. Then you and the model will correspond with what date and time works for y'all. And then from there, you can reach out to another artist to collaborate with. Whether this is a florist, so let's say you're doing a style bridal shoot or a makeup artist or a hairstylist, a wardrobe stylist, you can reach out to them as well. Originally, we were actually gonna be working with a florist on this shoot, but it ended up not working out, but the whole process for working with a florist is very, very easy. I will send a similar DM like I did to the model in, in replace of the hairstylist, wardrobe stylist, florist. Basically, you introduce yourself, 
compliment them, ask if they're interested, and give a rough date as well as a concept. Now, I had people reaching out to me even when I only had 2,000 followers. It's all about just getting connected in your creative community. Build and Bloom is a great resource for that. How you can find the florist, makeup artist, model is all through hashtags if you don't know where to start already. So just search up Houston model or New Jersey florist. Look at who is using those hashtags and reach out to them. What's also awesome is a lot of time those profiles that are using those hashtags and then next to the follow button, there's a little icon you can click and it shows suggested people and usually those people are in their area and industry. Photo shoots do not have to be a big production, you guys. We literally set up the seamless paper in my tiny New York City kitchen with some studio lights and made it work. So then we have this ring light that I plug into here. <laughs> this is the only outlet in the whole kitchen. One softbox. I don't really need more than one, especially since the space is so tiny. I mean, it's gonna be perfect. You really don't need, if you don't need your own studio, you can create one um, in your house. Isabella was my model. She is amazing, my queen. I actually met her because she goes to the Sister Sister New York City group. And Isabella actually can already do her makeup very, very well because she does self portraits all the time. So directing her to the makeup inspiration that was on the Pinterest board. And she was able to do her makeup and hair herself you'll find that a lot of models are typically able to do that when it's not too complicated. The model should get here in like 10 minutes or so. So let's hop on into the behind the scenes portion. I'm gonna show you guys how I edit as well and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. My settings right now, my um, shutter speed is 500, my f-stop is 1.8 and then my ISO is 800. Love that. Yeah, perfect. Um, I'm going to, be, going to be taking this iridescent washi tape in front of the lens. I take this off and you can see that it's way more, it's on a solid, so it won't be as harsh. It will look a lot more transparent. I could probably even fold it up, do different things, um, but you can get washi tape. I got this for $5 at ABC Carpet, which is a boutique in New York, but you can probably find similar online or if you're in the city, yeah, this is so cool. And I like how it's multicolored too, so it can bounce between like, okay, let's see. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna put it on the very bottom of my fingers so that I can kind of control it a little bit more on the bottom of the lens. Um, and it bounces between like the blue, more ir traditional iridescent. Um, also, you can kind of get just a clear, wait, this is so sick. Amazing. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, I'm moving it with this, like around with these fingers, and it's just easier. Um, I can kind of shape the light, see what I want to do with it. I just want it to be extra hazy. So sometimes it might take a little bit longer to get the shots because it's not, it's not the model, it's just you trying to manipulate the light. But how cool does that look? So Sometimes studio shoots, they can not get boring, but they can feel redundant after a while. Um, and so I think just doing these little effects can look so sick. I even have like metallic washi tape. Um, it's not as transparent, so it's gonna look a little bit different. Um, you'd probably even do like tissue paper because tissue paper is pretty transparent. Perfect. Oh my gosh, literally a queen right now, though. <gasps> okay, so for the photos that we just shot, um, we used Sage's pants to shoot through them because they're kind of a little bit see-through. And for the first few shots, um, it worked out, but it wasn't enough light for me. So what we did was took an iPhone flashlight where I was holding the camera and this wrapped once around the lens, held pretty tight so as much light could come through. And then we used an iPhone to shine through this to make it even more transparent and give it a cool effect. You are doing it so good. <laughs> I love, I've always wanted this color. I've actually worked with this color before on my friend's shoots, um, and so I'm really happy to have it. Videography. Okay, cool. Roll out the red carpet, as they say. The pink carpet. The pink carpet. I love this color. 
This looks so cool. It's so cute. I think I'm gonna have you turn a little bit towards this line of your whole torso. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this Glossier pouch and see what we can do with this. Turn your torso a little bit more towards me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tilt your head back a little bit. And now do that same, yeah. Such a cutie. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You're so Thank adorable. You. <laughs> Okay guys, that is the video. I hope that this video inspired you guys to really go out there and get creative, shoot inside or outside, work with what you have and who you have available to you as models, reach out, collaborate. You can join my free photography Facebook group, Build and Bloom, link down below. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe for more photography videos, tips and tricks. Thank you again to Savage Universal for making this video possible. I love y'all so much and I'll see you in my next one. Thank <laughs> you.